A lab in Virginia is making its mark in the law enforcement community. Last year, it helped solve a nearly 40 year old murder mystery here in Brazos County. Wendy Miller sat down with the scientist behind new DNA technology that is cracking cases and she found out you can help. Sheriff Chris Kirk had been with the Brazos County Sheriff's Office less than a year when Virginia Freeman's body was found in 1981. Back then it was a sensational case that someone could be lured away from their work and then ravagely beaten and stabbed and strangled to, to death. Virginia was a real estate agent who went to show a home off Greens Prairie Road when she was attacked and sexually assaulted. Even though investigators didn't have means to analyze DNA at the time, they had the foresight to preserve Freeman's fingernails, which contained the DNA of her attacker. We had that evidence all that time, just didn't have any way to compare it to a, a known suspect until DNA analysis came about. And unless the suspect was a convicted felon whose DNA was in their database, law enforcement might never find a match. Until now, in 2017, Kirk's office announced they had been working with Parabon Nano Labs, a company that uses DNA phenotyping and genetic genealogy to analyze DNA. DNA from a crime scene in the BCS area is sent to one of Parabon's labs. Then the data they extract is sent here, 1,400 miles away, where a team begins the work that could crack the case. We're able to tell them, okay, among all the people that are, that are possible, you're really only looking for a small segment. Parabon used the DNA to show what the killer might look like, which Kirk says got a lot of response. It was very compelling evidence. The real break came when Parabon dove into the suspect's family tree using a database of DNA from popular family tree websites. When that crime scene DNA is uploaded to the GEDmatch database, it gives us a list of people who share significant amounts of DNA with that unknown suspect. In Freeman's case, a relative led them to James Otto Earhart, a known serial killer. But the GEDmatch database doesn't exist without your help. DNA profiles have to be uploaded by people using popular DNA sites like Ancestry or 23andMe. The more people who upload, the more efficiently that we'll be able to help solve these cases and the more cases we'll be able to address. In Virginia, Whitney Miller, News 3. Now in June, Earhart's body was exhumed and DNA was taken from his bone so investigators can compare it to the DNA found at the crime scene, confirming Parabon's findings. Those results are pending. Again, sites like Ancestry.com and 23andMe.com don't just share your DNA data. You have to upload it to the GED Match database to help law enforcement. Whitney's outlined how to do just that with this story at KBTX.com.